Hello and welcome resellers! Let's take a look at what's selling on eBay for vintage movie t-shirts. We'll check out 30 shirts that sold for over $100 on eBay in the last 90 days. We're also going to inspect tags so you know what to look for. Let's begin! Our first shirt is from the movie Forrest Gump. This is a promo shirt from the 90s. This sold for $115, $6 shipping. And you can see on the graphic the white feather floating in the sky. And this is an anvil tag. 100% cotton made in USA. Next we have Hook. This starred Robin Williams as Peter Pan. It sold for $120, $5.85 shipping. The front's pretty simple, it just says the name of the movie. But if you look at the back, you can see a really nice graphic. And this shirt is missing the tag at the top. But if you take a look at the graphic, you can see in small print underneath, it says 1991 TriStar Pictures. Silence of the Lambs. This sold for $100, $5.65 shipping. This features Hannibal Lecter and one of his most famous quotes. The tag is in pretty rough shape. This is also from Anvil. And this one was actually made in Nicaragua. But you're going to notice a lot of these vintage t-shirts are made in the USA. Now we have Tony Montana from Scarface. This sold for $100 and $6.45 shipping. And this is Scarface clothing made in China. And the graphic looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's not too worn. Now we have James Bond. This t-shirt features Halle Berry as Jinx in Die Another Day. This is another movie promo shirt. This sold for $200 and five shipping. And you can see the graphic is a little faded, a little worn. And here's a close up of that tag. It says Romar Sport 2, another made in USA. This is one of my favorite anime movies, Princess Mononoke. This is from 1997. This is another promo t-shirt. This sold for $600 and $10 shipping. And you can see it's a Delta tag. And down here it says 1997. The graphic doesn't look too bad. I don't see a whole lot of cracking, just minor. Now we have Bride of Frankenstein. This sold for $325, $9 shipping. This is from 1991. And you can see the old Delta t-shirt tag again from USA. Pre-shrunk, 100% cotton. The graphic looks like it's okay. Maybe the fabric's a little faded. Now we have Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Looks like the sleeves have been cut. This sold at auction for $305, $20 shipping. And this is another t-shirt missing the tag. But if we take a look at the graphic, underneath it says 1997 Blue Grape, so we can date this t-shirt. This looks pretty faded. It's losing some of the color. Gremlins. This is a Gremlins 2 promo t-shirt. This sold at auction for $122 and free shipping. This one is also missing the tag. But you can see at the bottom here it says 1990. And this is the character Daffy from Gremlins. The graphic is definitely worn out though. Ladybugs. This is starring Ronnie Dangerfield. This sold at auction for $127 free shipping. And this one happens to be a Tutlix. The graphic looks pretty faded. And you can see at the bottom it says Paramount Pictures. I haven't actually seen this movie. This is Ed Wood from 1994. This is a Tim Burton, Johnny Depp film. This sold at auction for $104 free shipping. And it says fiendish is the word for it. Here's a close up of the label. I think this says anti-active wear. There's a little bat on there. This graphic is definitely cracked in the face. You can see all the markings. But that definitely shouldn't stop you. Even vintage t-shirts with holes and cracking will sell at higher prices depending on how rare they are. So always check the comps. Here's another Silence of the Lambs t-shirt. This sells for $275, $6 shipping. It has a famous quote from the movie. And on the back you can see the moth. This is another vintage anvil tag. 
Up next, we have Close Encounters of the Third Kind. This sold for $150, $5 shipping. This tag is pretty much worn out to the point you can't read any info. But luckily on the bottom, we can see it says 1977. And the graphic looks really nice. It's not too bad. I really like all this detail. Now we have The Truman Show starring Jim Carrey. This is another movie promo t-shirt. This sold for $300, $585 shipping. And we can see here the tag is Comfort Colors, Heavyweight Garment, 100% Cotton, Made in Honduras. Here's a close up of the front. Not too bad, looks like there might be a spot of stain over there. And on the back, looks in good shape. Now we have a Disney movie. This is Toy Story 2. This is from 1999, another promo t-shirt. This sold for $150, $665 shipping. This one's actually from the Disney store, but made in USA. And here's a close-up of the graphic. Doesn't look like there's much cracking on this one. They look really cute. Die Hard 2. This sold for $200, $4 shipping. We can see it says 1990 20th Century Fox. And we have another tag here, Power T, made in USA. This is a horror movie called Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. This sold at auction for $210, $9.85 shipping. And this is actually a Fruit of the Loom tag, Heavy Cotton. I've seen a lot of these for the Rock t-shirts if you haven't checked out my other videos. The tags seem to vary depending on the genre. Ooh. And this graphic is definitely worn out. You can see a lot of damage here. Up next we have The Lord of the Rings Gandalf. This sold for $125, $10.95 shipping. And this one actually says Lord of the Rings on the tag. The Two Towers. Looks like this one had a small hole. The graphic has a little bit of damage. I can definitely see some cracking down here. Oof. It's a bit worn. Godzilla. This is the 1994 horror movie. And this sold for $475 at auction. Free shipping. This is an all sport tag. I've definitely seen this tag for some of the rock t-shirts. And you can see on the back it says 1994. This next t-shirt was really interesting. This is a movie promo t-shirt from Jim Carrey's The Mask. This sold at auction for $113, $635 shipping. And it's in pretty rough shape. It's got a lot of damage. We're going to take a look. So you can see down here it says 1994. The graphic definitely has some cracking. There's a lot of stains and marks on this one too. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. This is from 1998. This sold at auction for $345, free shipping. Let's take a look at the label. This is Power Pro, and this is 100% cotton, assembled in Jamaica of USA components. And the graphic looks like I can see some markings, might be a little damaged, not too bad, no stains. Now we have Titanic. I definitely saw this movie more than once in the theaters, not gonna lie. This t-shirt sold at auction for $192, free shipping. It's in great condition. The color is stunning on this one. This one is made by Columbus. Let's take a look at the back. And it says 1998. Now we have an 80s movie. This is called Young Guns. This t-shirt sold at auction for $132, free shipping. And you can see Emilio Estevez. This one actually has a stain on it. And this is a vintage Fruit of the Loom, made in USA. The graphic looks okay though. It doesn't look too, too worn. Jurassic Park. This sold at auction for $325, free shipping. This has some great color to it. This is from 1993, and this is a Hanes Heavyweight t-shirt. The graphic looks pretty good. I definitely see some cracking and wear down here though. 
and we can see here it says 1993 interview with the vampire this is from 1994 this sold at auction for $162 free shipping and this is a giant by Tutlix I did see a lot of these tags for other vintage t-shirts for hip-hop and rock the graphic looks pretty good it has a little quote on the back drink for me and live forever now we have Kill Bill by Quentin Tarantino this is another movie promo shirt this sold for $150 $25 shipping this one has some wear it looks a little faded this is a Gildan vintage tag ultra cotton heavyweight made in Mexico though now we have a vintage 1995 Casper t-shirt, but this is actually a Pepsi promo as well. This sold for $140, $630 shipping. This is a Hanes Heavyweight, made in USA again. I love this graphic, it looks really nice, colorful. We have another 80s t-shirt. This is Hellraiser 2 from 1989. This sold for $270, $8 shipping. They didn't take a tag photo by itself, but you can see here part of it. And here's a close up. This one's definitely faded all over. Desperado. This is another promo t shirt. This sold for $250, $630 shipping. Another vintage all sport tag. And this graphic definitely has some cracking and wear. This is a vintage Star Wars t-shirt, not from the 70s, it's from 1994, but it's still sold for a winning bid of $470 with $12.55 shipping. This is Darth Sidious. And this one doesn't look too bad. I think the art style is just a little different. The tag has been partially damaged, so it just says Made in USA, but I don't know what company this is from. I have another vintage Star Wars t-shirt. This one sold for $150, $630 shipping. And let's get a close up of the tag. It just says Star Wars on there. This one may be newer. It doesn't actually give me the year, but it looks like it was worn by, by a famous rapper. So it makes it a little more valuable. Up next, we have 1996 Blade Runner. This sold for $325, free shipping. This is a vintage Hanes heavyweight tag. And here's a look at the graphic. Home Alone 2. We have a promo t-shirt from 1992. This sold for $200, 560 shipping. This is another vintage Delta tag. And we can see 1992 on the bottom here. Here's a close up of the graphic. Not too much damage on this one, no cracking, that's good. We have Batman the Dark Knight with Heath Ledger as Joker. This sold for $150, $795 shipping. And we have a close-up of the tag. It says the name of the film. Pre-shunk cotton, made in El Salvador. And this one looks like it doesn't have much damage to it. And our final t-shirt is Speed, starring Keanu Reeves. This sold at auction for $260, free shipping. This graphic has a lot of cracking in it. Lots of damage. And this is another vintage Hanes. This is the Beefy Tee. And this one's also made in USA. As always, we hope this information was useful to you. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let us know which item categories you'd like us to research in future videos. Thank you for watching!